Will AI replace copywriters? It is by far the most common question that I get here at The Posse. And listen, I know it can be a little bit scary, especially if you're just starting out when you think about the future of technology and AI and what that means for your copywriting career. Especially when you know that Jasper.ai, which is the world's largest AI content generation platform, just got valued at $1.5 billion. It is safe to assume that AI is not going anywhere. So what does that mean for you as a copywriter and your future in this industry? Well, Posse, you know I got you. I went straight to the source and got your most pressing questions answered. Here's the interview. Hey Posse, what's up? It's Alex. Welcome to my channel. I have a very, very exciting interview planned for you today. But before we get into all the juicy stuff we're going to be talking about, I just, I'm going to go right out there and introduce our special guest, Austin Distel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Can you go ahead and tell everyone at the Posse who you are and what your role is? Hey, what's going on, Posse? Austin Distel here from Austin, Texas. And uh, I am the head of marketing here at Jasper, uh, an AI copywriting uh, sidekick for you to get your job done a little bit faster today. I, first of all, have to say congratulations because just, I think it was like literally two days before recording this interview, Jasper got $125 million in funding with a $1.5 billion valuation. That is massive. Congratulations. I'm sure you guys have been insanely busy over there. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty awesome. Ton of awesome announcements as well. And like, we're so grateful for being able to impact that many people to be valued at a billion and a half. Um, that's really cool in my wildest dreams, wouldn't ever, ever expected that. Uh, yet also we are here supporting and helping over 80,000 people now write better content every day. And so uh, our mission is just build a dang good product that supports and is your epic sidekick. I love that. I mean, it goes without saying that Jasper AI is the largest AI content platform right now on the internet. And with a valuation of $1.5 billion, it is so clear the value in what it is that you are creating. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the future of copywriting, the future of content generation. Uh, but first, I would love to hear, like so many entrepreneur stories, how did Jasper come to be? What is sort of the origin story of creating this, this software as a service tool? Yeah, well, I think uh, I'll, tell, I'll tell some of the more interesting details that most interviews don't get. So, um, I was actually a copywriter myself back in 2016, writing uh, Facebook ads and uh, emails and website copy for uh, clients around Georgia and where I grew up. And I ended up buying this online course with all my spring break money. I was in college and uh, ended up you know, paying this stranger a thousand bucks to learn how to you know, scale my uh, freelance business. And he taught me the freelancer's trap. And the freelancer's trap is this cycle I think that you might relate with uh, where you are doing all the work, but first you got to find the work. So you go out and sell, you you know, go and get clients, that's hard. Then you finally are so excited, you got this work done, you focus on serving them and doing a really good job. And uh, then after the work is done, they like move on, you don't have a retainer, and now you don't have any pipeline. So you're back to chasing and you're all like your money might have gone up and then it's like right back down. I found myself in the freelancer's trap. Mm -hmm. And so I bought this course to figure out one, how do I scale my bandwidth with better, better systems and operations? And then how do I hire teammates to help me on sales and help me on fulfillment? And so I, that's when I really started diving into the marketing world and ended up, um, Moving in with the guy that taught, taught that course, uh, his name is Dave Rogan Moser. And so uh, long story short, eight years later now, uh, I'm in this chair and uh, we're in Austin, Texas, where uh, Dave is the CEO of Jasper. Uh, and so I, I don't know if I would be here today if I wasn't a copywriter trying to figure out how to make my operations a little bit easier and uh, how to do better work for my clients. 
I love that. Yeah, I love that. Before we started recording, you were talking about how, you know, your whole team at, at Jasper is really a bunch of marketers and a bunch of copywriters and that you use that skill set to then go and create an incredible product. Um, I absolutely love that. And I know the question <laughs> on everybody's mind listening right now and we're, we're just gonna come out and like and, and ask you because I get this asked I get asked this all the freaking time new copywriters they they join the posse and inevitably they slide into my DMs they comment on my videos and they go Alex but what about AI is AI going to you know replace copywriters am I going to be out of work and as I said in my intro I wanted to go straight to the source and talk to the marketing director at the largest AI content generation tool on the planet and ask you Austin will AI replace copywriters this might burst your bubble but no <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it's a tool, not a takeover. It is here to support you. That's why we always say it's your AI sidekick. Uh, the truth is a human brain needs to be the direction for writing great copy. Now, mm -hmm. if you view copy as only the ability to print words, then copywriting probably wasn't your career. Um, it's going to probably overcome like that first draft because I think any brainless buffoon can write words really quickly. What great copywriters need and do, why they exist is to find the story, find the pain points, bridge it to a product, the features, the benefits and all of that, and present it at the right timing, at the right pace, with the right tone. So there's a lot of nuances here that come with great copywriting and here's the good part where does jasper help well it helps you get your first draft done faster it helps you brainstorm those different hooks it helps you come up with ideas when you just frankly haven't had your coffee yet um and it also helps you scale your bandwidth it's that assistant to get out of the freelancer's trap and you know sometimes it's hard to just duplicate yourself uh, but what if you had tools like, okay, I think you all have probably used Grammarly before, right? Mm -hmm. Grammarly isn't here to like replace editors, but it is super helpful to make your punctuation and uh, verbiage better. And so, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes I I've also found as, mm -hmm. as a copywriter or even just being a an entrepreneur, it can be lonely sometimes. And if you're just you know, blazing away against a computer screen and maybe you're solo freelance copywriter, you got nobody to brainstorm ideas with. And so you're basically like throwing a tennis ball at a wall, <laughs> trying to come up with ideas. Um, you know, what if you had a brainstorming buddy right there on the other side of your keyboard that you could ask it something and it spit something right back at you. You can ask it oh questions. Gosh. And what if that brainstorming buddy has read the entire internet that's public? and knows deeply about like what if it read the forums about the niche that your clients in and it knows like the subreddits of what their true pain points are so let's say like you're trying to sell herba mate it knows what this is it doesn't maybe know the brand but like you look if you google herba mate there's like a billion articles and so it's read those and it can state a lot of research there very quickly for you and you can go what are the benefits of herba mate and who are the kind of people that drink herba mate it's cool stuff there and so that's where like this tool you get to choose your own adventure how do you want to use it and i think it's a limiting belief to think that it's going to be here to replace you because this is your best assistant i love that i mean everything you just said i love that you said it's a tool not a takeover i have been saying that since People started asking me that since I created the copy posse. And I think that's the way we need to look at it because again, and this is sort of the the downside of this word copywriting is that if you think of it really literally, it is the writing of words on a page that then get published somewhere online. 
Uh, but when you actually understand what copywriting is and everything that goes into it, it is so much more than just writing words on a page. But the things that take the longest, the research, the ideation, the outlining, the research, I said that already, but it's a big one, <laughs> that takes the most amount of time for sure as a copywriter. I know when I sit down to write a sales page, especially if it's for a new client or a new product where I don't have all of that background information sort of already baked into my brain, it does take a lot of time to go, okay, where am I gonna go to go find this information about the pain points, about the common questions that are asked about this brand. Uh, I could go read a million Amazon reviews and subreddits and sub subreddits if that's a thing and the forums and everything that you that you spoke about. And hey, don't get me wrong, that's still I think a great skill to you know to know how to do. However, you can use AI to drastically increase the speed in which you're able to do that so that then you can focus on really the craft of taking all that information that is compiled and like you said sort of the finessing the transitions the the working on the positioning on the strategy on making sure you're using the right tone and the right brand voice and that you're speaking to the audience correctly and so everything you just said is is so genius and um you sort of already answered this question but my next question is does does the largest you know AI content generation platform on the internet and in the world hire copywriters. Do you have copywriters working at Jasper? Heck yeah, we do. I was <laughs> actually literally just on a call 45 minutes ago with Cole, uh, who I also met at Traffic and Conversion Summit, who's an amazing copywriter, a uh, legend. And uh, yeah, like he's going to be working with us. And um, we have two freelance copywriters on email marketing. Um, my, I, I still write copy and right. like I use it for, you know, brainstorming ideas and giving me that, like, let's say I want to write an email subject line. I like to give it my best shot because I sometimes like have a little edge on me and I'm like, I'm going to beat this thing today. Um, but then I have Jasper write the B version and I do a 20-20 a split until uh, there's a winner and then the rest, the 60% goes out to the rest. So it's like, that's how I'm using it. Um, and I know others are as well. Like there's, so something I'll do as well is like, I know I have a lot to do in a day <laughs> and I, I'm sure everybody else here can relate with that too. Like there's work to be done. I want to conquer some stuff. I got things to do. And so if I have to write a 10 email, you know, sequence, I can't be spending a day on each email. So, cause that's 12 days of my life. So I got to then like, um, I know what I want to say. I know the themes. I know the architecture, but then I'll have Jasper help me write those out. And, and here's the good thing. So like when we first started, we were teaching it based off of, we, we've had other companies and we do have other companies that exist today. We are not going to get into them today, but they're doing very well. And we do it from a direct response, paid ads to a landing page with an email follow-up. Like that's what we do. And we taught Jasper all of our highest converting examples. And then we also taught it things like how to write like the Boreon letters. We taught it the formulas, like from the copywriter's handbook. So if you know the four U's of a subject line, Jasper's taught that. How do you make it urgent and useful, etc.? cetera? Um, you know, when it comes to direct response, we use things like hooked, you know, and how do we get them to click? And then positioning, brainstorming unique ideas on how to position your product. And so this is what's baked into Jasper. We're the only AI that knows direct response copywriting. And it's because we ourselves are that. And so we understand uh, the importance of it. And it's honestly a, a, a tool we created to assist ourselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And again, if you're a copywriter listening to this, that should sound really freaking exciting because, and again, I've had the ability to actually log into Jasper and play around with it and it's freaking amazing and it's not perfect, right? So you're not going, oh my God, all of a sudden it's pumping out this top to bottom sales page that is done and I'm just going to go ahead and publish it. Uh, it's not perfect, but holy cow, the tools and the, uh, the commands and the templates that that you can use as a base to streamline your workflow is 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 incredible. And as 
copywriters who are also incredible marketers and who understand what makes great copy, you're going to be able to look at that output with the with a you know, marketing lens and go, okay, is this what I want to say? How do I tweak this a little bit? How do I add this transition uh, to make this the final product, which is I'm sure what all of you and your team of copywriters do at Jasper is you kind of get the foundation and then the copywriters come in and they kind of put their magic gloss on everything. Yeah, no doubt. And again, like you, the human brain is so creative. Um, it also takes a human brain to spot what's magic and what's not. And mm. and sometimes like Jasper gives you a seed of an idea and then you sprout it. Um, sometimes it comes up with brand new ideas. It reminds me of like this one marketing agency in Southern California. Uh, they were onboarding their new client. It's a window tinting business. And uh, around the round table of that creative department. They're like, how do we, you know, what's the new campaign for this, uh, this, this chain of, uh, window tinting businesses. And they're basically like TikTok's new, like we're going to go for like the C D list Z list celebrities on TikTok, and say, you know, uh, Hey, you know, fanboys, like, you know, block them out with, you know, tent, uh, and, uh, you're going to look cooler in your sports car with it, you know, tinted glass. And that was like basically what they were like. Like Hollywood has that kind of vanity style to it. So you want to look cool. That's what they're going for. Uh, you want privacy. That's what you're going for. So anyway, that was the positioning that the creatives originally took. And then they log in Jasper. They said, generate some alternative angles. And it said nothing like that. It goes, hey, moms, protect your kids from <laughs> wow. the hot California sun rays tint your suburban's windows in the back seat to stop uv light from burning their skin now which campaign will do better the you know tiktokers who want to look cool or the moms that want to protect their kids and which mm -hmm. ones have more money and are willing to spend on those problems the exact same product positioned different ways and using creativity um you know to figure out the markets and things like that and, and really what are the problems that are being solved in the hierarchy of these problems and so i don't know like i love stories like that because yeah. it shows you like in a round table it's your brainstorming buddy and sometimes we like need fresh ideas especially when we're so close to the subject i need this being on the brand side now i had the agency i i've now left that um and so i'm like selling the same thing every day i need yeah. fresh ideas I need like new creative for our ads and in a fresh perspective. So, um, yeah. that kind of brainstorming Absolutely. is so helpful. That is so insanely helpful. That's the number one thing that I miss leaving my role as creative director at Mind Valley, being surrounded by 50 plus entrepreneurial minds every single day to starting my freelancing business. It was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I am alone in my office or my dining room table I was working from at the time. And who do I bounce ideas off of? So speaking of creative brainstorming, I know before we started recording, we were talking about ways that you can use Jasper to actually create ideas for say an email subject line. Can you show us exactly how that works? Yeah, sure, here, I'll uh, share my screen. Okay, go for it. So when you get here into the dashboard, kind of simple, so uh, you know right where to go. We got all these templates and they're for different use cases. Uh, and so let's say, you know, I'm here to write email subject lines. Then I can type in a product name or a campaign, tone of voice and what it's about. So let's just roll through it. Um, Alex, what are we selling today? Let's sell my five day write and ignite challenge. All right, what's your tone of voice today? I would say fun. Okay. Is there a, a celebrity impression you would like? Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's do Rihanna. Rihanna. <laughs> Bad girl Riri for the win. <laughs> Rihanna, let's see if she brings Umbrella into this uh, <laughs> for that, that Write and Ignite challenge. Okay, so briefly describe and like we could go pretty in depth here if we wanted to give Jasper a lot of context and background information about who's selling it, why they're selling it, who's it's for, etc. But for the yeah. sake of this, we'll go simple. Um, okay. And so tell me a little bit about this challenge. It is a challenge that teaches you the sales page formula. Uh, so learn how to, you could say learn how to, there we go, the sales page formula 
to write a high converting sales page for your clients in any niche. All right, and I do like to give this a a person who's reading it kind of persona. And so who is this for? This is for copywriters and aspiring copywriters. Okay. So uh, again, you could, this, we did 150 characters out of 800. Uh, right. I will say here, here's a rule or a, a good rule of thumb for Jasper. The better the input, the better the output. And so if you can give it more context, it'll understand what you're asking for. There's no formula, it's just as you were described this to a friend or an assistant. Now, um, I'm gonna generate a few variations here. So I'm gonna click three and generate. Now, what it's doing right now, it's read the internet, so it's searching through its backlog and understanding like what is a right and what is Ignite? What does this mean? What's a challenge? Who is Rihanna? Right. What does she actually sound like? <laughs> um, it's gonna look at the top uh, email subject lines that we've taught it, find the pattern, the formula of the winning subject lines that we've uh, said are winning behavior. And then it's trying to find how is it going to create a good result here. Um, we did ask it to do it in English, but it does work in 26 languages. Wow. All right, here you go. So uh, here's a couple that it came up with the sales page formula that sells. Learn the sales paper, right, converting a niche, the five day write and ignite challenge. These are okay. We're gonna uh, update this to five. And also, um, let's see if maybe Rihanna doesn't have a good tone of voice. So we can do uh, funny, exciting, and then um, we can ask it to use emojis. Oh, wow. Cool. I love a good emoji. <laughs> <laughs> so normally I'll, I'll just crank these up and, uh, and like, just see some options here. So, um, look, like it understands like, okay, what is an emoji? Use it. It understands what ignite wow. is. So it used a fire emoji. Um, oh, cool. All right. Uh, it's not a flash sale and the five day right and ignite challenge. Are you up for it? I like that. I love the writer's block. Like, I mean, we didn't even put that anywhere in the description, but it's saying, hey, this is a challenge that a lot of writers have. Let's try that. That's so cool. Totally. So maybe, um, let's see. So I, I might want to be like this. I could copy this here and writer's block, you know, and it's like, uh, join the copywriting challenge. And right. maybe we wanted that that fire because that was good. Yeah, I mean, it's so great for for idea generation, you know, like to be able to go, OK, I like this part of that subject line and that part of this subject line. So, hey, let's try it. Let's test it. Totally. And, you know, this That's is like so one cool. version of that. Email subject lines are a really great use case. Uh, what I might go from here as well is the angles. Oh, cool. And so um, uh, it's called the uh, uh, Right and Ignite Challenge. Yeah. All right. So this will give me different angles. Um, and often these angles are not, they're not related to each other. So um, let's see. <laughs> any niche i laugh at the fun engaging course that uses emojis throughout <laughs> which is definitely very accurate <laughs> definitely for this input that's pretty accurate output of the, what it thinks the context is yeah but what's so what's so awesome about this though and and again it's sort of just proving what you were saying is that the output it, the better the input the better the output and so if you are a copywriter who's looking for angles to write emails for a sales page you're obviously going to have more input to put in than just the little sentence that we popped in you could put all of the juicy bennies the different features anything you want into that to create obviously a lot better uh versions of the angles and the subject lines that you're looking for for sure so let's say that um 
you know, this is like an angle that we want to go with. Uh, write sales pages that resonates with your clients and their needs. I like that. So now we can open it in a document. We can begin with that there as like the headline. Mm -hmm. And then all my templates are still here on the side. So I can start to like stack them up and uh, I could do an email, personalized cold email. And uh, I'm going to go with, yeah, so this is what we had before. Any context, um, a new challenge for copywriters coming soon. Mm -hmm. Sign up now. Tone of voice is witty and fun. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm going to generate oh, uh, this one right here. Yeah, <laughs> this is a different, uh, a, a different, uh, feature of Jasper where, where it'll continue your sentence over here. Oh, wow. is, uh, yeah. So <laughs> that's, that's a cool one. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. So right now we're just generating. Oh my gosh. Do I have it? Oh, I had it <laughs> output in Spanish. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, it's, again, the input you put in is the output you get. <laughs> that's right. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So very quick. And this is like maybe not exactly what I want to send, but that first draft is done much faster. Uh, it, you know, it starts Absolutely. with a hook. That's like a, a question mark that does not have a, you know, yes or no answer. It gets some thinking, but then it's like an if so bridge, um, mm -hmm. you know, with a call to action. Uh, it's also using fun. Uh, tone of voice, like including in parentheses, yay and smiley faces. Like this is pretty good. It's, mm -hmm. it's not perfect, but it's 80% of the way there. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. You could take it. And again, just with the small amount of input you put in, you get that and you can take that and, you know, tweak it, add more benefit bullets to it. If you want, you can, you know, optimize it in any way you see fit, come up with a bunch of different subject lines and drastically cut your writing time in half. That's so cool. Yeah, you know, and let's say I want to do like a creative story here. So like, this is a very short version of the hero's arc, um, you know, where we can say like, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, Jane is a new copywriter who is trying to learn how to write sales pages for her clients. She was struggling. until she found Alex Catoni's new Write and Ignite Challenge. Mm -hmm. Now she's killing it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll stay consistent here. All right, so like this is a one where we might want to just like figure out a bridge of a story. Oh my gosh, am I doing Spanish again? Um, maybe, maybe there's somebody on our team that was using it for Spanish today. Uh, so yeah, you might want to like use this as uh, a follow-up email, right? Like this is the first one that goes out, tells you about what it is. The second day follow-up is about someone who did that journey. And so um, this is often like very expressive. So it's the middle of summer and Jane was struggling to come up with ideas for <laughs> client sales pages. Um, everything she wrote was so dry and boring. But then she found Alex Catoni's new Write and Ignite challenge. Yeah, she uh, did. <laughs> <laughs> Jane decided to join the challenge. With a few weeks, she had learned more about writing sales pages than she ever thought possible. Her writing had taken on a whole new tone of voice and her clients were starting to see the results. Thanks to the Write and Ignite Challenge, Jane had finally become a successful copywriter. Awesome. Yeah, very cool. I love the creative storytelling part of it. That's so cool. And I love even just the words dry and boring. It's It comes up with adjectives that you might not think of when you're writing, you know? Again, just incredible ideation uh, 
and building out the first the first draft. That is so cool. And we were talking about like in terms of features while you're sharing your screen that just was it yesterday that you uh, launched the Chrome extension. Can you go through that really quick? Yeah, sure. So um, let's say that we're like in Gmail and I want to, you know, compose a new one here. You guys are getting to see all my crazy emails going through. So, um, so let's say I want to activate Jasper. It's clear. I have all those templates that you've seen here already. Plus, I have commands. So for this, I'll do uh, the email subject line. Uh, <laughs> so this is what I was doing earlier. Uh, basically, pitching a media company about sharing guest posts on each other's blog in the tone of voice of Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Insert Jerry Seinfeld impersonation. <laughs> Seinfeld. What was that Seinfeld time? <laughs> yeah. Seinfeld, Seinfeld big, big brain. brain. <laughs> <laughs> uh a little offer for my friends with big brains like that's so good yeah that is really good okay and then from here i'll do a command so let me do something like this write an email to ryan about guest posting on each other's blogs all right so let's see what it has hey ryan i saw you're looking for guest bloggers i want to Offer mine up as a possibility. You know, let's see what it does if I, uh, let's see. I'm curious. In the tone of voice of Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> All right, so that's one. So it gives you different versions that you can try. It does. Yeah, Very so these cool. are great. So I can like go and get this here and now bingo. Um, and you know, maybe I'm like looking to turn this into like a I want maybe want to make it a little bit easier to understand. So I can put it at a fifth grade reading level or even like a third grade reading level. And uh oh, wow. and now I've I've dumbed it down just a little bit. This is great for complicated ideas. So could you put copy that you yourself wrote in there and say, oh, dumb this down a little bit because it's at a grade, you know, 11 level and I want it to be at a grade seven level. Totally. That's cool. Absolutely. Very cool. So there you go. So now this is like, it's often shorter. It's more punchy. Uh, it's easy to read. I would actually normally like kind of chunk this up here. Right. Uh, do you want to do that? Like. That's a really clear, <laughs> like, very clear call to action. You in or out? <laughs> yeah, like it's it's like a third grade reading level, but you know these third grade converts way higher than twelfth grade. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, amazing. Yeah, just just really cool different ways to use it. Um, and again, like this is just came out, so there's like so many unique ways that other people will end up figuring out how to use it too. I absolutely love that. Thank you. It was so useful to see you share your screen and go through it because I'm a really visual person. So I love to be able to go, okay, conceptually I get it, but like, how does this actually work in terms of my process? And I imagine the more you use it, the faster you get and the, the more you're able to really like save that time because you just know exactly what inputs you want to share and what you need it for and you're off to the races. Yeah, no doubt. And you know, I found that like what our company is, it's like AI is a puppy. And, you know, when you go and you buy a puppy, you want it to like learn these tricks. You, maybe you go get a beer out of the fridge or sit and stuff. Um, and when you take the puppy to training, which we've done, we've trained it on some stuff. Mm -hmm. Now it knows some stuff, but also it's about training the owner, you, the copywriter. And so I found that like when you enter our ecosystem, the Jasper ecosystem, you're going to find so much support because like it can sound daunting before you see it. And so like we have a, a, a whole boot camp. It's like a Hollywood performance style, like really solidly put together um, 
training course on how to use AI in your workflows. So it's it's specific too, like how to use AI for ads, how to use AI for writing SEO articles and um, and emails yeah, yeah. even. So like, you know, now you have the puppy. It's learned some training. We're going to continue making it better too, by the way. And then also you need training to figure out how to use it and how to give commands, little commands to the AI to, to use its tricks. Like right. if you didn't know it, understood how to do Jerry Seinfeld voice, like that's a trick it can do if you just ask it to do it. Um, right. And so that's like, when you think about our platform, like, yes, we're an AI company, we're a training company. We also have a huge community. So we got like 70,000 marketers in a, a Facebook group and we're actually coming soon up to make a conference. And so there's like a lot of awesome, you know, different edges to this AI content platform. Yeah. I And what's really exciting, and we won't get into it right now, but I know you have Jasper Art, which actually allows you to create AI-generated images, which is so cool. And as someone who spends a lot of time thinking about the visuals that complement my copy uh, and have, I mean, I work with designers who luckily are, you know, sometimes just as crazy as me when it comes to coming up with ideas. It's like, hey, I want a tiger with a lightning bolt because that's the Coffee Posse branding to be able to use AI. Is there a tiger with a lightning bolt? <laughs> but uh, here, here's some AI art. Uh, so that cool. Is, that's actually a rabbit with a tennis racket. That is Keanu Reeves holding a puppy uh, in a mosaic style. That's a fat cowboy, electric cowboy. Um, and then just a da dog astronaut. Yeah, I, I, I mean, and that's so cool to be able to say, okay, I want this image and it's, it's, I can't find anything like it in all of these stock photos, or you spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours going through stock photo sites to try to find the image that most clo closely represents what you want. AI is now going in the direction where it can, it can, with the right commands, and of course you need to know how to use it, create incredible AI generated images. And so I am so excited, you know, to see where AI takes the marketing industry and going back to what you said about it you know ai being a puppy and you needing to um be the, be a, be be trained as well i really think that the future of marketing combines technology with humanity and with you know the beautiful brain that you all have watching this and that to become a better copywriter it's not only knowing how to use the tools but to continue to understand marketing and what makes people tick and what makes people click so that you can then use these tools to the greatest you know potential of what they have to offer and that's so exciting and i know we chatted about of course inviting all of you watching uh, to check out uh, AI or jasper.ai and you can go to jasper.ai forward slash posse to get a free trial. So do you want to talk a little bit about that, Austin, about, about the free trial and what everyone can play around with? Yeah, totally. So I mean, I would say for the next week here, just give it a shot, uh, you know, install the Chrome extension, see where you might use it in your workflow, whether you're like, what's that, you know, Facebook posts I need to do in my group to stir up some engagement today and like, Jasper, brainstorm some ideas. Or if you're doing client work and you're like trying to get stuff done faster, you're on a deadline, um, you know, we want to support you there. So we've given um, everybody here on the channel 10,000 free credits. You can go and activate that at jasper.ai slash posse. Um, and so once you're in, I would recommend boss mode if you're going to be writing long form content. Um, if you're only doing short form content with these templates here, uh, then you can use starter that's at 29 bucks a month. Uh, but boss mode is really cool if you want to write like long form SEO content. But I know that's like not everybody on this channel, but uh, if you're an SEO person, that's that's pretty cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. I am really excited to hear all of you, your experiences trying it out. Again, you can go to jasper.ai forward slash posse, or you can click the link in the description below. Try it out. See if it makes your job faster. See what you can create. Remember, AI is a tool, not a takeover. And I cannot wait to hear all of your experiences. Austin, thank you so much for joining me on my channel and for doing that awesome tutorial. I know I feel uh, just really excited about where things are going and how we as copywriters can use this tool to our advantage. So thanks for being here and taking the time. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. Excited to collaborate more. Chat later. Bye.
All right, guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out the next one from me right here. And you can click right here to get a free gift. Goodbye, copywriters. You've just been replaced by this guy. Well, it looks like this will be my last YouTube video. It looks like it's time to retire your laptops and go back to your soul numbing nine to five. It looks like we are all doomed because robots have replaced us. I mean, this guy on TikTok says so, so it must be true, right? No. <laughs> Want to know the truth? Keep watching.